So a couple of days ago, I said something like, man, I really wish Mavi would come back and make more environments because he used to make like one of the most photorealistic forest scenes and environments in the marketplace. And sure enough, yesterday, he updated his Broadleaf Forest biome. Now, this is just a demo, an EXE file that he let us download. This is not the actual map in Unreal. I'm going to try and save up for it. It's about $170, so it's a little bit up there. So I'm going to buy that eventually, but for now, we're going to take a look at this demo right here. So let's go ahead and check a look at the graphics. Let's go set everything up to high, ultra, high-end GPU only, screen percentage. We're going to go 100, max frame rate 120, show FPS. Sure, I haven't tested this thing out. We'll see what happens. So here we go. I'm going to go apply, and I'll go back, and let's look at the controls. Let's see, control B, eh, flashlight is F. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and go back. And let's look at the biomes. Let's do the winter biomes real quick. See what this looks like. Uh, honestly, this is really what I want. This is really why I want to get this is for the winter biome. So let's take a look. I'm getting about 13 frames per second, which is not good. <laughs> 12 frames per second, bro. Nah, this is this is not this is not good. So let me go ahead and change this right now. Let's go to very high and see what this looks like. So here's the full screen and let's resume. Alright, we got 26 frames per second. So what's cool about some of these maps is they're biomes, so you can change them as far as like summer, winter, fall, uh, whatever. You can all change it in here. And additionally he has some pretty good procedural or foliage which I actually made videos about recently. So I'm getting about 28 frames per second. And this is running at 4K at high with a screen percentage of 100%. So this is this is pretty intense. Although this is packaged though, so it's kind of nice. Uh, I'll turn the flashlight on. You got a little spotlight going on right there. The actual first person walk is not too bad either. I mean, honestly, there's so many simulators out there, like game simulators. I might potentially make one. It's called the walking in the snow simulator. Really just like this. And you just walk around in the snow, make a lot of money. Let me know in the comments below if you'd buy that, because I would. Especially, I live in Vegas. We don't get snow here. Well, kind of. Got a little bit of wind, it looks like, as well. Which is kind of cool. But man, this looks pretty good, man. Although, I really want to still look at the actual map in the editor. Because I feel like, if you look at this bark right here, that's not really high quality there. And what's cool is he photo scans his own trees, so that means he has all the high quality assets as far as I know so what I'm hoping for is eventually he would start selling those because yeah this is this is not really high quality there again this is for a demo and just an EXA executable alright so I'm gonna go ahead and escape out of this and let's change biomes let's go to the summer biome let's see what that looks like and let's see if we get a little bit better FPS alright yeah definitely Again, 30, 34 FPS. It is a little bit dark. Is there a brightness setting? Let me just choose the controls. Uh, C, H now. Okay. That's cool. So C is going to a third person. So as you all know, like uh, one of my videos, which had like a 1 million views, I used the Maui map and I had like a space marine kind of fly around it. So I do kind of want to bring in that space marine in here just to see how the reflection goes. But I can tell you right now this summer one looks pretty darn good. Definitely a lot more high quality. Oh yeah, than, than the winter one. This is incredible man. Let's take a look at the bark. Try and get in there first person. Um, I don't know. 4K texture maybe? 
I'm not sure. I, I feel like... Can I crank up the screen percentage all the way up to danger? Uh, oh. Oof. All right. All right. All right. Let's, let's try this. Now this is going to... Yeah, there you go. I'm getting 12 frames per second. But this is 200 screen percentage, ladies and gentlemen. And that is super high quality. That looks good. So I'm going to try and move left here. What I'm really excited for is if really one day Unreal Engine supports multi-GPUs. Because, yeah, dude. This is good. All right, let me go ahead and let's change it back to 100, and then we'll walk around some more. I had a, I kind of figured. Screen percentage is magic button. All, although it does use a lot more resources. So here we go. We're getting at 23 frames per second. Yeah, this looks fantastic. Can actually zoom in there. It's getting there, man. That looks really nice. And I, I can tell you this right now, I'm definitely gonna get this biome. And no, I am not getting paid by by um by Maui, my Mavi at all. Never gotten paid. This is me as a consumer looking at assets. And what's cool is Unreal Engine 5.1 will support Nanite and Lumen in VR mode. So eventually, potentially, you are going to be able to do this in VR. This kind of quality. And my hope is maybe I can make a scary game in the woods like this in VR. And just really scare the pants off. Scare the pants out of people. I'm going to flip over to 200 percentage again. Because I want to see this shot right here. It'll be a good thumbnail shot. I used to do photography on the side. So, you know, I, I like just walking around in the woods like that. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Very nice, man. Okay, I don't want to make y'all dizzy. So let's go back to 120. Uh, I wish he turned off motion blur, though. Yeah, this is nice right here. Okay, let's walk around a little bit more. And I think I can press M and that's going to control the winter. Okay, not in this map. This is pretty freaking dense, man. Oh, dude, that looks great. This right here. Oh, I cannot wait. To purchase this, this is. Let me go ahead and do 200 in this as well, because this is crazy good. I mean, I pretty much own majority of his stuff. I only have a couple that I don't own, but yeah, this is superb. It's got autofocus too when you right click, and it's kind of cool because, you know, whenever. I opened Mavi's map last year in Unreal Engine 5 when Lumen was kind of fairly new. Um, you did see a lot of uh, shadow flickers and things like that. But honestly, it's improving, Lumen and Nanite. And in 5.1, I believe it's it looks a lot better too. So again, when 5.1 comes out, that's probably when I'm going to buy this map here. Got some nice reflections there. 
Let me see what kind of reflections they are. It's nice. This is well done, man. And this is why I think Mavi needs to come back and make more of these maps because like, he can. I've been telling multiple creators these like there there is a need for photorealistic assets right now, and now with Nana, you can really upload some high quality trees and such like this bark right here. You can with UE five, you can really start to get some photorealistic stuff. But yeah, I really like this arrangement. <laughs> Man, I wonder what Unreal 6 is going to look like, you know? Oh yeah, this is going to be my thumbnail right here. And again, I wish I had a camera because you would get some nice depth of field in there. Oh yeah, dude. Wow. That looks great. Cool. I mean, having it in 4K is all good, but you gotta turn that screen percentage up if you want to see, like, fidelity. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the Broadleaf Biome by Mavi. I guess he's back after being gone for, like, almost a year. But, um, yeah, this is awesome. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below of this update. From his uh, Epic Marketplace, Forest Biome, and I am definitely going to be buying this one. This is some pretty good stuff here. I, I want to do some night lights in here, night um, exterior, if you will. But yeah, that's it. I'll see y'all later. Peace out.